Good evening, welcome to our service of Compline. On this day, um, the Church of England commemorates the Lesser Festival of Columba, the Abbot of Iona, but also Ephraim of Syria, who was a deacon, who was a hymn writer and who was a teacher of the faith, and uh, who was a prodigious uh, theologian who did much of his theology in poetry form. And so um, we pray with both Columba and with Ephraim uh, today. So everything that you need is on the screen in front of you. Let us pray. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Amen. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and in your faithfulness give ear to my supplications. Answer me in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant, for in your sight shall no one living be justified. For the enemy has pursued me, crushing my life to the ground, making me sit in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints within me. My heart within, within me is desolate. I remember the time past. I muse upon all your deeds. I consider the works of your hands. I stretch out my hands to you. My soul gasps for you like a thirsty land. O oh Lord, make haste to answer me. My spirit fails me. Hide not your face from me, lest I be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear of your loving kindness in the morning, for in you I put my trust. Show me the way I should walk in for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies, for I flee to you for refuge. Teach me to do what pleases you, for you are my God. Let your kindly spirit lead me on a level path. Revive me, O Lord, for your name's sake, for your righteousness' sake bring me out of trouble. And your faithfulness, Slay my enemies and destroy all the adversaries of my soul, for truly I am your servant. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. Jesus said, Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon me, upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. 
for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Let us pray. And so we pray for the world. And we hold God's world before him. In his full knowledge of all that is and all that may yet be. knowing that he sees truly all of the good and all of the evil that, that occurs. Asking him to bless his creation, to forgive, to heal, And especially we pray for our societies, for all who experience anxiety or injustice or difficulty or persecution or violence. For all whose experience of the world teaches them that it is neither a, a welcoming or a, a healthy or a dignified place to be. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our government that they would make wise decisions. That they would listen to scientific advice and come to just and measured policies. We 
we pray for all who implement government policies, all who deliver welfare, all who manage the provision of services locally, both in terms of our own parish council and also in terms of health, social care, policing, refuse collection, all of the many services that keep our lives running smoothly. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the church. We pray for the church trying to digest nationally the surprise announcement in relation to the use of buildings at the weekend. We pray for all who are responsible for making decisions, for circuits in the Methodist community, for elders in, in free churches, for parish clergy in the Church of England, and for all who bear the final decision of whether or not to open, whether it's safe, and all who try to maintain spiritual care in the meantime. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for those whom we know, for Muriel, for Jean and David, for Rob and for his widow and we pray for all who are ill for Margaret's continued recovery long and slow though it is we also pray for all who have died but especially those known to us we pray for Gilbert and Jackie and Derek mm. and for those who are mourning their loss, especially for Anne, for Kate, and for Claire. And we commit them to God's care in the sure and certain hope of the resurrection from the dead. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Look down, O God, from your heavenly throne. Illuminate the darkness of this night with your celestial brightness. And from the children of light, banish the deeds of darkness. Through Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Come with the dawning of the day and make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen.
thank you for tuning in. Uh, if you have prayer requests that you'd like us to um, to lay before God, please do be in touch. Um, send me your prayer requests by email and we will include them. In the meantime, good night, God bless, stay safe and well, and I hope to see you in the morning um, for our usual Wednesday service at 10 o'clock, followed by coffee over Zoom. And so we'll uh, we'll hopefully see some at least some of you for that. Good night.